guys, what is up? It is weightlifting day, but before I lift weights, I gotta lift something else, and that is my Zip Fizz Cup. Oh, my Zip Fizz Cup. Uh, 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 uh. I don't know, I'm in a good mood this morning. <laughs> hey, maybe it's because of this medium top I have on right now. Like, you guys, trust the process, okay? Like, if you do the work, you will be rewarded. That's all I'm saying. So I'm feeling good this morning. I'm feeling honestly not in the mood to lift weights. You guys know I don't like lifting weights. Like <laughs> it is not something that I like to do because it puts you in a perpetual state of discomfort. Like the entire point of lifting weights is for it to never feel good. Like if you're lifting weights and you're like, oh, this is fun. I could do this forever. That means that you need to challenge yourself and maybe move up weights, do more reps. The whole point of weightlifting is to get to a point where it feels good and the second it does, do something to make it more difficult again. And then it's just like weeks of working to the point where, oh, the, even now this feels good. Now I gotta do something to make it even more difficult. Like there's never like a freebie weightlifting workout where it's just like, oh, that was pleasant. I wanna keep doing that some more, you know? Like, so I'm not really excited about it, but hey, that's the only way you get this. Like a lot of people have been like, oh, Autumn, your upper body, what's going on? Like it looks so slim and muscular. That's because I'm lifting weights. That's because I'm doing something that I don't necessarily enjoy because I know that it's good for my body in the long run. And that's what we in the hood refer to as discipline. So that's really all it takes is just discipline. But y'all know that. All right, what else we about to know right now is today's zip fizz. And today we are having, bam, Ooh, pink lemonade. It's a classic. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. All right, guys. Let's get ready to shake it. In three, two, one. All right, guys. To discipline, consistency, and success. Easy as that. Mm. Oh, it is so sour and I am so here for it. said even before I told you to. Good boy. You just must be tired. Maddie, give me paw. Good girl. Good girl. Did he drink water? Good boy. Good boy, did he? Yeah, okay. Demonstration time. Okay, guys. Bend over row. I'm going to bend over, I guess, towards you this time instead of away from you so you don't get too distracted. <laughs> okay, so it's all about keeping your back flat. Not like this. Back flat, reach down, and then you want to squeeze your shoulder blades together. Mm -hmm. Even when you go down, you you're still squeezing you your shoulder blades. Yep. Yeah. And then I played softball in high school. Did you guys know softball runs in my blood and my veins? My granny, grandmama, oh my mom's mom, was the first African American woman to be inducted into the Ohio Valley chapter of the Amateur Softball Hall of Fame. Right. Morning guys, starting off the day with the usual cello wisps, two ounces of almonds. Once again, I've been doing this for like the past month and I've absolutely been loving it. I'm gonna enjoy these, then make my coffee, then practicar mi espanol, then do a bunch of other stuff and then it is pulled pork sandwich time. Like, I am so excited. I'm also excited about that spicy coleslaw. Yes, it's probably been sitting in there marinating for a little bit. Yes, oh my gosh. I'm so excited. I'm gonna have this stuff and then I'll be back. Okay guys, I have my coffee. It is the same old. I have a cup of coffee, a cup of chocolate almond milk, two tablespoons of heavy whipping cream, one tablespoon of butter, one scoop of that preferred keto chocolate collagen powder, and some sweetener. Mmm. My favorite thing, my favorite thing ever. Es mi favorita. Tengo mi café, tengo mi español. Vámonos, you know what I'm talking about? Ah!
Okay guys, it is lunchtime and look what I have. Oh my gosh, I have this delicious, amazing barbecue pulled pork sandwich. And even more than that, I just got some pork left over. What? Like, this is such an awesome serving. It's like six to eight ounces, more than enough. So I have a sandwich of pork, I have a side of pork, but then, oh my gosh, I have that spicy coleslaw, like, it's the coleslaw that I made with mayo and that chipotle aioli. And I put some jalapenos and red pepper flakes. Like, I mean, I spiced that thing up and I cannot wait to try it. Okay, I'm going in for the coleslaw. Oh my goodness. It's cabbage, so it holds up to the sauce and it is still crunchy and spicy. Oh yes, absolutely. And delicious. And it's so cold compared to the warm pork. Like, this is amazing. Now I'm gonna be fancy and take a bite of my sandwich. Look at that, look at them pickles right there. Like, oh, I am a professional right now. Like, oh my gosh. Mmm. Oh my goodness. Mm, all right, shut this down. It is so spicy and flavorful. It was just pre-made pork. I put it in the crock pot with some barbecue sauce and some butter, salt and pepper, a bunch of hot sauce, a bunch of red pepper flakes, some barbecue seasoning just to give it some more flavor. Like that is so delicious. Oh, some onions and jalapenos. Like it is so tasty. And that Sola bun holds up so well, like game changer. I mean, this is what dreams are made of. Oh my gosh. And then like, I got this whole other just side of pork to eat with a fork that rhymes. Okay, I am done here. <laughs> I'm going to enjoy my lunch. And then I got errands to run for the day. We finished a burn notice. I will have to say as far as series finales goes, it was okay. I definitely give it a B plus. I wasn't disappointed at all. It didn't completely wrap the story up the way that I wanted, but I'm one of those people that wants the story to be wrapped all the way up. I love jumping into the future to like see what happened. Like that's just my personal preference, but overall it was a really good ending. We're on to the second season of Altered Carbon on Netflix. I'm liking that. And then after we finish that, we are gonna fire up Alias because it is my number one favorite show of all time and Richard has never seen it. Comment down below. What is your number one favorite show of all time? Past or present? Is it currently on TV? Is it off? Like, what is your number one favorite show of all time? This might be making its way into my number one favorite meal of all time. That is false. It is taco tray, but still, this is in the top five for sure. I am doing shit. What's up? Hey, hey. My husband is so sweaty, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, at, this, look at your sweat. Oh, we are yeah, definitely recording. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We are recording all of I it. Look at that here. ring right oh there. Who does he belong to? Me. <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh my god. Oh, I love it. doing the trash. Oh, yeah. Oh, see, not, tra not touched his hands with the trash. Lord <laughs> Okay guys, that pork and that coleslaw was amazing. I definitely just urge you to try it. Make the crock pot pork of your choice. Make the coleslaw of your choice. Bun, no bun, I don't care. Oh, that was so good. I'm finishing the day with these cheese snacks. Unfortunately, I don't have a chocolate component, which is like really messing with my head. Uh, I'm just gonna have to rely on like chewing gum and I'll let you know I'll have some jello later but like I really wish there was like a chocolate thing happening but I'm just focusing on how good that pork and coleslaw was and I know this cheese is going to be delicious. Okay guys I'm just sitting outside hanging out with my Aunt Beverly's dog. He is getting his entire life <laughs> just uh, basking in the front yard. Let me show you. BJ. BJ you were having entirely too good of a time. <gasps> that, did I? Did I startle you? I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Bubby. You want me to pet you? Oh. Oh. Good boy. Good boy. Oh. Are you sunbathing? Are you a little sunbather? I know. And there's my husband in the shade. Uh. Excuse me. Mm-mm. Just getting out of the sunlight. Yeah, I'm not gonna talk about my shade. I am basking in the sunlight and he will not join me. <laughs> no matter how much I beg for Okay, I changed my mind, I changed my mind. <laughs> I'm 
chewing some gum right now. I finished the Zip Fizz that I had earlier, and then when we get back home, I will have some Jello and a Sprite, and that'll end the day. Okay, you guys, I am back. I am having some Jello. You guys, like, this is a far cry from the little bitty baby cup of Jello that I normally have. I told you guys, I started making my own Jello. Like, you literally get four times as much Jello for the same amount of money if you just make it yourself. Plus, I done put some citric acid in there to make it a little bit more tart. Like, this is lime. It should taste sour. It should taste tart. So let's go ahead and just dig into this. Woo! Mm! Mm! Oh, ho, ho. and I'm also having a Sprite Zero. Okay, guys, I know I'm done after this, so I am wrapping it up for today. Also, oh, don't forget. I'm repping Keto Brick today. Once again, another shirt that I got at KetoCon. I actually bought this one though because I really love supporting Robert and Crystal Sykes because they are just so cute. But I'm loving finally wearing all of the shirts that I've had for over a year. Lord knows if I would have been able to even fit them then, but the fact that I can fit them now, these are all mediums that I'm rocking and I'm feeling good about it. I'm feeling good about that pork sandwich. I'm feeling good about that spicy coleslaw. I mean, absolutely. Hey man, this is a real treat right here. Chocolate who? Chocolate what? I know, right? Don't, don't get me wrong. I'd still rather have chocolate, but this is great. I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy all things lemon lime and I'll catch you guys later. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you like it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, Watch Autumn Keto. I make meal preps on Mondays, what I eat Wednesdays, and Freestyle Friday videos. You can also find me on Instagram, Facebook, and Patreon at Watch Autumn Keto. Thanks, and I'll see you next week. Bye.